I'm Nigel from NJC Property Maintenance and today we're going to um, install a switch view spur. Um, that's the, uh, the switch view spur. You notice the switch and the fuse spur there. Putting a screwdriver in, opens it up and there's the fuse. Okay, the tools we're going to be using are tester to make sure the circuit's dead, the side cutters, and a flat bladed screwdriver. The other items we're going to be using is green sleeving, green yellow sleeving. Okay, first of all we have to test the tester. That's very important. How do you know a circuit is dead if the tester doesn't work properly? So with this tester, it's a two-pronged tester, uh, by touching the, te the terminals together we get a reading to show continuity. Okay, once we know the test is okay, we then move over to where we're going to fit the few spur. So, first of all, we're going to uh, take off the, the front plate. That's two. Okay, we drop down the plate. Right, okay. Well, first of all, we have to test that the circuit is dead. So with one terminal on the earth, which is there, and one terminal on the incoming live. Yeah, that looks to be dead. Do the terminals. That's the live, incoming live, the earth. We've got the outgoing neutrals, the outgoing lights. That's earth. Now you'll notice with this um, is that there's different colours. The red and black is the old colours and the blue and brown are the new ones. The brown and red are live, and the blue and black are the neutrals. And that's important to remember that, not to get them crossed up. The terminals are marked up on the back. What we want now are the two lives. Which of those? These are the two live ins. Use me side cutters to take the sheet off. You have to be careful that it don't slip off and hit in the face. Okay, we're just going to drop the CPCs in there, which is uh, stands for Circuit Protective Conductors. In other words, the earth. Three. Tighten them up. We've got the incoming uh, mains into the correct one, the live and the neutral incoming, and we've got the live and neutral outgoings, and we've got the earth connection at the bottom there. That also earths up the plate screws at the front. Um, any metal part needs earthing in these circumstances. So with those folded in there, we can now ease the switch view spur back. Two, show it square. And finally, we need to make sure that the fuse size is correct. Now for a boiler, you don't want any more than 5 amps. And this one is a 13 amp, so we need a smaller fuse. Hopefully, what was in here? 
There we go, the three amp, which is adequate for this. This boiler, so we pop that in there. There we go. And now to switch the power on. And as you can see, it works perfectly. So we'll just go over and recap what we've done today. See you next time.